Hello guys, Homer's Addicted here and today I'm building these tiny little shoe houses and can I just say thank you so so much for 12,000 subscribers, it means the world to me, it really does. From slapping that like button and subscribing to me, it really does mean a lot. And uh, I've upped my game as you can tell, I post every single day now for you guys so you get tutorials like this every single day so I'm going to show you on the inside so we can get building this good little damn thing. So we've got a brewing stand, we've got a chest, oh my god, we've got an enchantment table and we've got everything that we'll need, we've got a bed and we've got some room for some storage upstairs and a farm. So we've got our storage here, we've got a little balcony that we can look out and wave to people, hello, hello, hello. And then we have got upstairs, we've got there, a farm. And that is it. We can maybe put two of them. I've only built one of them, but obviously you can make two of them and it looks a bit more better, obviously having two. So without further ado, let's build this awesome boot house. Mint. 12,000 subscribers. Can we get to 13,000 fast? We can if you share my videos and share them on Facebook, share them with your friends. It really does help me out. So. Let's build this. Let's start off with the dark oak and we're using the spruce and the birch is for here. And if you want an extra garden, just copy the same template that I'm gonna show you now and you can make your garden in there. So it's kind of like a footprint with your boot, which yeah, I think it might go quite well. So we're gonna start at the front. We're gonna get our dark oak count one, two, three, diagonal at the top, one, and then one, two, diagonal, one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five. We do the same. So diagonal out. One, two, three, four, five. So we should have a shape like that so far. Then we're going diagonal in two. One, two. From this side as well. One, two. And then one, two, three, four. Do the same at the other side. So out diagonal. One, two, three, four. In diagonal. One, two. In diagonal from this side one and then one two three and then you can fill the rest in with birch so you can just pause the video and get on with that so now we're going to fill these two levels all the way around two times so we're going to go like that build it up two so i'm going to speed it up right so once we've done that we've got our shape and it's up by two we are going to go diagonal here we're going to go diagonal here one two three and then we're gonna put one on that block and then one, two, three. And then we're gonna put a block in. So it's one, one, two, three. As you can see, one, one, two, three. And it should kind of make a circle. So this is where it's gonna go up. So we're gonna go all the way around. One, one, two, three, one, one, two, three. Again, no, that's not supposed to be there. So that is kind of our basic shape. So now we're gonna start from here and then we're gonna go diagonal one, so one, diagonal one and then we're going to follow this shape round so everywhere you're going to cut the corners off like that so it's going to be like one two cut it off and you should have it like that so that should be one two three four five one two one two three one two one two three four five ah beautiful so what we're going to do is we're going to put this cross here and we're going to just fill this bit in now and we can kind of take shape to it after once we've filled this in so it's going to be this high and we can always add those slabs in just to make it look nice so as you can see i've added the the slabs in here and i think i did here as well but for this end at the front now we're going to get this extra one put it there it's just to kind of round off the boot as you can see and then what we are going to do we're going to put one one here and one here and then we're going to put these here and then one at the front i didn't do that at the front but i think it'll just make a better shape so around here one two so as you can see it's kind of like and then we can put one up there as well or we could just take that away doesn't matter really doesn't all doesn't matter or we could take this away do you see what i mean it's kind of curving it up making it look nice and we're gonna go one, two, three across at this side. We go to the other side, we do the same. So start from here, miss one, one, two, three. And then we can take out two spots where we're gonna have our windows. So I've done two at the front. So on this block, you count that one, one, two, 
and then you can get your glass paints. I'm just using the normal glass paint for this. But I mean, if you want it to look different, you can get some colors in there. I don't know, it's all up to you, but I'm pretty sure the boot would be pretty normal box down it. So we're gonna count one, two, one, one. One, 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 two. So it's kind of shaping the front of that boot. So what I've done here, I've just taken it out. Just a little bit of light in. I'll just make it look a bit different. I think that's going to be covered up with the bookcases anyway. So it doesn't really matter. So we're going to put one there and there. There and there. Now this side. I've put the door here. So we're missing the space. Take out that. And then we're going to go onto our spruce wood. So we're going to count one, two, one, one down. And then we can get our spruce wood fence, one under there and one down. It just makes the doorway look a little bit nicer. And on the other side, you can do exactly the same. You don't have to, you can leave this side bare. It, it really doesn't matter. So we'll go like that. We get our fences underneath these up and for the back as well. I don't think I have actually done that for the back, but for the back, we can just put one in there, one in there just to plump it up a little bit, you know? Gotta plump that, plump thing up. No, no, no. One, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna build this up by five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna do like this bit at the front here. We'll fill this all in whole, right? And then we can take the stuff out after. So we can take out the windows. And this is just so you can analyze where you want the windows. You can kind of look at your build from the inside and the outside and you know you can make an assessment from that so say this is against a wall you're not going to put some windows it all depends on where you put it so at the back it all depends i'm going to have it at this level so this is one two three and then it's the two holes so i'm going to run around so making sure i'm at this end i'm going to keep that wall bare so we can get up onto the garden now for the top here, I'm going to get the spruce, spruce underneath. We can have it like this, so it's open plan, or we can have a little bit across so we don't fall out. But I'm pretty sure not many people are going to fall out, so it doesn't really matter. So we just put, put it at the back different. See, it just shows you can have a mess around with it, see what works for you. So for this now, what we're going to do is we're going to go like this, one, one, two, three, one, one. One, two, three, one, one. One, two, three, one, one. One, two, three. So you kind of got that shape going on. Got, got that shape going on. And then we're gonna go round the outside of this. An extra one. And this is paramount for the garden. I hope this recording works. I did actually record this before, but it screwed up, so. <sighs> life's a bit snatch and then you marry one so in fact for this bit we can leave it bare at the front and then just put this across I think that's what I did for that then we can go like this this and this and out the back we can just keep it straight that and that as you can no, it should be facing in as you can see Facing in, facing in, and then these are coming out like that. I'm getting at the back as well, and at the sides. Very nice, one of one on alls. Okay, I mean we can curl it round so it all matches in. This one's a bit different. It doesn't. It doesn't honestly matter. Making sure it's all curling round. I don't know, I think this one's going to actually look a bit better, to be honest. To be honest. Making sure, as you can see, it's all curling round, looking nice. We're going to fill that in. Making sure that's going into that one, that one's going into that one. So you have to face it that way. Oh, very, very nice. So, this bit here, it's obviously at a different level. So, what we can do, we can either bring these down. Or we can have another level. It doesn't matter. You can maybe put it up. So you've got a step coming down here. Maybe put that out. One down here. One down here. And you can get on there. 
we'll get some spruce going across here. We might actually turn it. Just turn it like that. Just have it like that. You can either walk off it or choose not to. Probably wouldn't though. So now we're going to get our dark oak fence. This is so we can kind of layer it up, make it look more circular. So we get it on these bits, just running them down. You don't have to do this bit. This is kind of just extra little bits, you know? And the bits where you're gonna leave it, if you feel it's too bare, just fill it with um, a bit of vines or a bit of bush coming down it. So say if this bit's bare, you could just run it down this bit. You know, just fill it up a little bit, maybe put some vines on it. So run these down this one, this one down this one. And now for the roof and the inside, I'm just gonna show you what it's like on the inside. So for here, we're gonna run this round because obviously we're gonna get there. In fact, I'm gonna do the slabs. Do the slabs on the inside, the floor level. And we're just gonna find the center and just basically put a ladder up from a log or something so I find a dead center which is roughly about there and just get a log going up so well I'll just get rid of all this get rid of all this get the log on oh my god come here your stairies you go all the way up to that level and then just pick out one there you're gonna have another ladder here that's coming up through here another ladder coming from here and this is where we're gonna keep the storage obviously right so we'll go back up here we shall fill this floor in so we get the dark oak out fill all this in all this across here and it's up to you how big you want the farm now so you'd obviously get your dirt blocks if you're in survival or you can trail some dirt coming up from the grass so it spreads up making sure you've got grass if you just want plants and stuff so obviously you fill your little bits of water sources in, obviously to fill it up. So you get a bit of water here and there and fill the roof up as I've done here. So now we are pretty much done. I'm just going to show you around on the inside and you can kind of take your own thing. But I really hope you did enjoy this. Let's have a look on the inside. So I've obviously got the birch floor. We've got this and I've just put a little slab going across here with a broom stand on and a chest. And I've put an extra little slab going across here. Maybe some little slabs going across here. That bit's unnecessary. I don't know why I put that there. So a little mob head on here. Little table at the side with a pressure plate. And I've just boxed this little bit off. And this is where I'm going to keep the bed. So a bed, crafting table, a little pot. If you crouch down, you can put that down. An enchantment table at the back. So obviously you know how to put enchantment tables down. One, two, three, one, two, three, you get level 30 there. Stick something in there, maybe a furnace, a chest, your anvil, you've got your ender chest, maybe some little bookshelves and just a little red wool going around here. It's the red wool blocks because obviously you can't use the carpet because of the stairs. But yeah guys, I really hope you enjoy it. Hopefully you can stick in some torches and stuff just to light it up a little bit extra and stick some little ferns and stuff around it and send it on Twitter once you've finished it. I want to see what inventive ideas you come up for it. Maybe you've got a little garden. Maybe you've got it in a nice forest area where it looks beautiful. But anyway, guys, make sure you slap that like button, subscribe. I post every single day and cool stuff like this every single day. Do you, do you want to build stuff like this every single day? Well, subscribe then. Catch you later, guys. Peace. I've got a